one night. So y'all, I'm gonna do a DIY video of how I'm making my background. We got this big old foam board. This was like the only thing left. Anyways, y'all, so I got the board, y'all, but can it fit in my car? Somebody just charged me $50 to, it's not gonna fit, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, y'all. I might have to pay somebody to bring this home. What? Put it on the roof. Cause I'm thinking of, y'all know how the Haitians be putting it on the roof? Oh my God, y'all. This is get so We gotta do what we gotta do. I am not paying $50. I refuse to pay $50. Let's go, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know if I make it, y'all. My $40 object better dope, make yo. it. We holding on for dear life, bro. Look at this. <laughs> y'all, we holding on for dear life. And it's so, it's so windy, y'all. It's so windy. You wanna show? This is pain and suffering. <laughs> Yo, this is so ghetto, y'all. The most Haitian things I've ever done in my life. I'm so Haitian. I am not. Somebody was trying to charge me 50 who? 50 who? All right, y'all. So this is a foam board that I got. It's from Home Depot. It's 40 bucks. I'm about to place these tile mats on them. This is from Amazon. 3D wall panels. It's so cute. And then I got these mounting tape squares from walmart hopefully it works out if it doesn't work i'm gonna cry so that's everything The first thing that I'm doing, guys, is I'm um, removing all of the panels that were together. Like, I'm separating them one by one, and I'm arranging them onto the foam board to make sure that, like, it's in the right position that it needs to be in. Like, making sure everything is in alignment because the last thing you want to do is start gluing them down. And then, you know, like there's no more space on the board or you know you place them wrong so you want to make sure that before you start pasting anything down you want to make sure all the tiles are perfectly aligned and you know like in place so that all you got to do is just place the glue onto them and then paste it right on there so my phone board wasn't wide enough but it was definitely long enough way longer as you can see here my mom is helping y'all shout out to my og she's always helping y'all everybody like all my family are always a great helping hand shout out to them so the last thing you want to do is um place them on the mat and they not align correctly so this um Mounting tape is like double-sided tape, but it's just stronger. So as you can see, I was showing you like what it looks like. I'm peeling it with a tweezer because it made it easier. Like I was saying earlier, my board wasn't wide enough. So I had to make the outer panels kind of hang off a little bit. But it was on there enough to be secure, if you know what I mean. Like half of the panel was on, half of the panel was off. Just so that all of my panels can fit um, by the width perfectly so i added the tape to about like half of the panel and then i like secured it down i pressed it down and it's secured y'all so i'm pretty much gonna do the same thing for the rest of the panels y'all um i use the squares as um like as they come but towards the end you'll see like i started to cut the squares to make them fit and um better and to save them like to make them last longer because i thought i was running out and i was not gonna run back to walmart to get more so this is what i mean here so you see i i used the whole square here to put it on the panel it worked perfectly but i was like i feel like i'm wasting the square that's like inside if you know what i mean so i, I started cutting them to save more all right y'all the first three are solid they're good they're looking so good i cannot wait to see the final result so these Gorilla Glue things that I got from Walmart, A1. This is perfect for these. They're like double-sided tape. So I love it, Seven up to seven pounds. Each of these probably weigh like a pound and I put about three each or four each, so yeah. 
so i'm basically doing the same thing here y'all i'm just removing the double-sided mounting tape and i'm applying them to my squares y'all and it was easier than i thought y'all but it just took like some time y'all it just took a long time but i'm so happy with the results it came out super cute and what i love about this method is that i can um when i move or whatever i can bring it with me you know what i mean because it's not stuck on the wall shout out to my mom giving me something to eat real quick you know what i mean so i did a little snack break um but then i started to continue y'all i was sweating y'all this took a lot of work y'all it looked easier um it's it's not as easy as it looks but i'm so happy with the results so this is what i mean here when i said i started to cut the mounting tape y'all just for it to make more sense to me don't this look like way better saving more tape and just yeah it just looked way better so i started to cut it and apply them some more towards the bottom 12 is the perfect amount y'all like oh my god this was everything i needed more my family is walking through my video but it's cool um shout out to my brothers and my mom everybody was just like here to help they're always here to help my number one supporters like look at them <laughs> shout out to them so this is the final result y'all i'm just cutting a piece of the board so that it can stand up it was a little bit too long for our house so i cut a little piece measured it out cut it out i started to move things out the way so that i can place it where i want to place it for my backdrop in my office y'all my little home office <laughs> in my mama living room y'all one day you know i'm gonna give me a real office but that's not the point so this is how it came out it's so freaking cute i love it like i just love it like i really did that i just want to show you guys here if you're new here shout out to you join the fam subscribe you know I'm a wig maker based off in Miami, Florida. I ship all over the United States. And I just I just wanted to show you guys a glimpse of my work and why I kind of made this backdrop. So as you can see, this is like my new backdrop when I make when I post wigs. And it's super cute. And I just always wanted something like this. And I love it. This is the final uh result of everything. I'm just uh, styling this wig here and uh this is one of our black friday wigs that i believe is still available i'm not sure but definitely check out my website black friday is still going on right now if you're interested it is not ending no time soon <laughs> but you guys I, I curled up this deep wave wig from my hair company y'all it took over two hours i did not expect it to take that long but it came out super freaking cute you guys are about to see the results right here bam so cute and as you can see the backdrop just elevates the look like my company is a luxury hair company so i want to make sure i like emulate that and everything that i do you know what i mean like look at the background like everything looks so cute i curled some deep wave hair from our company and it's so cute y'all i saw it on tiktok and i was like yeah i have to do this this is cute I'm going